In this video, I'm gonna chat about material condition modifiers in with the datum feature references in your feature control frame. So what I mean is this MMC symbol hanging out over here with the datums. It means something very different than the MMC symbol with the tolerance. Now the MMC symbol with the tolerance right here gives you bonus tolerance, which I have another video about. But over here, it gives you something called datum shift, which is different from bonus tolerance. You're not actually getting more tolerance for the feature that this feature control frame is tolerancing. That's just that the part can move around that feature. So let me explain what I mean. So if the datum is a feature of size. So in this case, datum C, not a feature of size. Datum B is a feature of size. The datum symbol is attached or in line with a dimension that's indicating that the datum is a center plane going through the part. I'll indicate that with a center line, okay? So if there is no symbol here, right? It still has a material condition modifier. It's just considered RFS or regardless of feature size. What it's saying, when you inspect this part, you should put it flat against A, get three points. You should have something collapse on B to establish that center plane. Now, in theory, it's some kind of perfectly parallel jaws coming together to make maximum contact. In reality, on the inspection plate, they're gonna try to get that as close as they can, right? There's those precision jaws can be kind of hard to find. And then datum C only needs one point of contact. You just push it against here so you have somewhere to measure from. Okay. Now what the B, what the MMC does, it says, hey, don't worry about those perfectly parallel collapsing jaws, right? It's saying you can simulate this at the virtual condition of that feature. Now the virtual condition of two inches plus or minus 20 thousandths in this case is 2.02. .02, so the most room that feature can take up. If this had a, like a perpendicularity tolerance on it, you'd add whatever that geometric tolerance is to the size and that would be your virtual condition. But in this case, just got a size dimension. We're gonna stick with that. So it's saying when you inspect this part, still gotta put it up against A, at least three points so it lays flat, but nothing has to collapse on this part. You can have two parallel planes that are set this distance apart and you can measure from them. So what that allows the part to do is wiggle around inside of that fixture so you can get the best measurement and hopefully meet this tolerance, right? So another way datum shift comes up, since this has an MMC as well, you can, you can check this with the virtual condition of the actual feature. So the virtual condition of this feature is the smallest size, so the MMC minus the position. Okay, so in this case, in this case, the fixture for the part would look something like this, right? You'd have the virtual condition of this feature, so you'd have a pin or a boss made to gauge tolerances. You'd have the two parallel planes set to the virtual condition of datum B, which is right here. Datum C would just be a plane the part has to make one point of contact with. So again, you put it down on datum A, slide it over the pin, move it over to datum C, and from there, as long as it's one point on datum C, three points on datum A, the part is free to rattle around and you can make any measurements you need from there. If it slides over this pin though, you know it's already met this tolerance as long as the hole doesn't come in too big, which is just a caliper check, okay? So that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk real quick about um, modifiers, material condition modifiers 
in the feature control frame. They're used in two very different ways, bonus tolerance or datum shift, okay? If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like and comment, and I'll try to make more of these soon.